Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The marmoset is back. He's back with city skylines. I put all the bus routes in. Look, bus routes. They've even named these ones. We've got Starfish Connects, which is the one that plugs into the bus station. It's south, north, west, and the island. So, we've got a bus network. Next up, parks. Now, where's the big one? That's the big park. Let's put the big park there. Right. Can we fit any more big parks in? Yes. See if we can fit an enormous amount of arc. It's just not quite the right space on that side. Let's uh, stick it there. Right, so that's a big park on each one of them. Let's go... Yeah, a Japanese peace garden. Plaza with trees. What's these ones? Plazas, tourism and leisure. Okay. Let's grab the medium-sized one. Put that next to the school. Oh, I hadn't finished. I thought we were doing... Right, so I did. Healthcare. Police fire in there. Oh, if it turns out to be not be enough, we'll worry about it then. Let's, um... Just put that. There are you. No, there's something odd about these things. They just... When you try and stick them onto a bit of roadway like that, they just go a bit weird. Quite a high, deep pillar, but let's put you there, so you're at least not quite so absurdly high. Deep-sided, these steep-sided is the main problem we've got here. So we were busy putting in let's put in a park with trees. That's the big one. It's this one. Small park. It's not necessarily a small. What's this one? A small playground. Okay, let's make sure every high school has a small playground next to it. Okay. And then we will stick a Japanese peace garden on the very end of each of these little roads. That is it. What's point sticking you out there? Maximize the amount of bits of it that are. Well, that doesn't do a flattened terrain mod on that one, does it? Okay, so that's quite a bit of parking. Let's add some plazas. Just absolutely blanketing the district. The parks so that we can absolutely maximize. Cannot build on water. What madness is this? Right. That should be a fair bit of that's plugged in. Make buildings, monuments, touristy bits and pieces. Let's put a skate park. Next to each one of the big ass ones. Right, so overall, I am pretty convinced that this is now a pleasant place to live. Welcome to Starfish Shores, ladies and gentlemen. Go! So, as expected, 
It's going to take a while for them to fill in. Come on, I want my nuclear power plant. Alright, fine. We will have to do this the curious way. By just ramming power lines on everyone's throat for a bit. getting rid of these as soon as we can. Let's make sure that every single one of the objects we've put in has power in some colour, shape or flavour. Oh, that's annoyingly close. Too much went too far. No, <laughs> wow. Sudden load of upgrades over here because of the parks. Right, the other thing I was going to do, while we let this lot tick in and grow, is we are going to start connecting some bits and pieces up so that this place is actually pleasant to walk around. Otherwise, you, it's one of my personal pet peeves is the amount of time you have to spend walking between places in some parts of the world. Why isn't there a pavement here? I don't want to have to walk round. Why are you making me walk round? <laughs> Newly built home. Demolished. Newly built home. Demolish. Newly built home. Demolish. Why are you demolishing our newly built homes? They're in the way. I wonder how this is doing for our capacities. Well, capacity appears to be pretty good across the board. Nuclear power plant and a cargo hub. We will be looking and playing with these later, but first off, a nuclear power plant is going to get built immediately. Why? Because I like nuclear power plants. Perfectly safe, large, heavy industrial buildings. Nuclear power plant costs 8,000 a week, produces 640 megawatts of power. Hmm. It's a large chunk, isn't it? I think I'm thinking that probably these ones would be better. They're electricity available. Electricity available is pretty good, I'm not immediately concerned. But, if we stick one of these beasts in, we will have vastly more power. You got water out there? Not quite. Don't want to run a nuclear power plant without water. There 
there you go. Lots of power. Possibly not a lot of cash, but I don't think I have any need to worry about filling any of it in after this. What was I doing? Oh, I was tediously drawing in lots of little um, parkway roads because I want to make sure that people can walk from place to place and place to place. Well, the buses are in. <laughs> Hooray for the buses. We'll have to wait and see what this means for everything else. There's probably a more sensible patterny way of working out where I need to go for this. Alright, let's see. All the roads I've done off. Yep, you can walk up and down here, walk up and down here, walk up and down here, walk up and down here. Three of these. Walk up and down there, walk up and down there, walk up and down there, okay. Walk up and down there, walk up and down there, walk up and down there. Walk up and down there. So primarily the main thing that appears to be on my roads at the moment in this district are buses. <laughs> lots and lots of buses. Many buses. Buses, lots. Lots and lots of buses. I'm happy to see my buses. I like my buses. Yes, I missed a spot. Still we're trying to work out you hear the ding noises going off in the background. Quite where the roads actually officially end and where they don't. I suppose I could use some guidance on the matter from the you know, just using common sense and the like. You're saying, well, yeah, it's clearly just got to be the dicks, the ticks, the bits and pieces from the <sighs> the markings. These things, these square things, quite clearly indicate where and where I do not need to put a, a uh, where I should and should not be clicking to put roads in. Those ones are done. Please, when I get rid of all the power lines. So, that's all of those done. The glorious noise of everything sorting itself out. Sort those done. Sort those done. like sand. Well, if you're living here, you don't have much of a choice. There's nothing but sand. Nice long roads for my buses to get possibly, 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 and improbably, and utterly lost on. No way I was going to get up and down that slope normally.
things. I might be able to start deleting some of these guys soon. Yes, newly unlocked cargo hub. I will have a look in a sec. I have no idea if anyone's actually going to use... Someone is actually using that tunnel. Well, I suppose I did put a commercial strip down along there. Which we are going to make into a micro district. Pleasant Heights. Really? There? No, it's not Pleasant Heights. This will be Starfish not Shores. Starfish, 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 Starfish. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Starfish smile. Why? I don't know. I think I like the idea. And you are going to be a leisure speciality. What policies do I have available to me? Uh, recreational use includes tourism, big business benefactor, carriage biking is on everywhere. And let's give you guys a slight little tax boost, because you are a small little area. But this is filling out, which is what I wanted to see. Well, that didn't take very long for that to pile up, did it? There are other lanes. Hmm. Right. Just a sec. Let's have a look. Options. Traffic president. Enable advanced AI. Let's see if that helps, shall we? High accuracy, business visible overlays, none of those, forget to travel that. Alright. Resume the game. This might take a while to sort themselves out a bit, but I'm figuring that they will eventually. Ah, something I can do is bring up the traffic president, lane arrows, lane arrows. Vain hope that will get them out of those lanes. Is it blocked up the other side? No. Why? Because I have a lot. It's not blocked up that side. A lot of traffic heading that way. Where are you going? Maybe we're just heading out into the wider world. The wider world, the wider world. Alright, so I've got a lot of people perhaps trying to head that way. Okay. Hmm. That's working. We should be happy with that. Just that junction there. We're tidying itself up a little bit now. Ooh! That'll be time, ladies and gentlemen. So we had a little bit of a distraction over here. Ah, the reason I was over here is I wanted to see if there was any ore left. Or if we dug it all up already. We've dug it all up already. Which means it's time, ladies and gentlemen, to finish this episode off by announcing the donkey mines is no longer a mine. You are now dedicated to forestry. This is going to dezone everything, and then rezone it all. We have a bit of industrial demand, so what we'll probably be doing next episode is rezoning this area, right? While this lot sorted itself out, which should give us a bit of a traffic solution. And we get nice, nice 
clear, much, much pleasant, less polluting <laughs> forestry work. Much nicer than ore. Alright, thank you very much for watching, gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skyline. This is Animania. Please remember to like and subscribe.